Honey. Yeah. Montel Jordan will never come whack on an old school track. And that oop. You said I didn't put the jam back. In the correct spot. So it was in the fridge. It was in the fridge, which I'm grateful for. Yes. Because I, if I you appreciate your gratefulness. <laughs> imagine I'm grateful for your gratefulness. Imagine if you'd left it out on the counter overnight, yeah, it would have spoiled. <laughs> yeah, but you left it on the shelf next to the sodas, and it belongs in the left door drawer, the the, the door on the left. First of all, it sits on a shelf at Walmart. So Until it's it doesn't opened. need to be refrigerated. Wow. Refrigerate after opening. Ever heard of it? And second of all, I put it back on a normal shelf instead of the side shelves. It goes on the, the side door, shelves. The door shelf. Sorry, I don't understand. And she she doesn't understand your your <laughs> logic. Google doesn't honey. understand your lack of logic. And that oop. There's water all over the floor. What do you mean? On our kitchen? Oh, in there. Well. Oh, I bet he got out of the shower to walk over to his phone on the counter. Uh, and got water everywhere. I remember being a young man in the shower. Same. Waiting to go to church. Mm-hmm. And that oop. Greetings, Internet. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Hello. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me at our dining room table for our little program here. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, Our pool has been closed twice within the past month due to fecal matter. Poop. The the first time around, they used delicate terminology. They said fecal matter. Yes. This time around, the sign straight up just said poop in the pool. All capital. Exclamation point. Decorum's out the window. Right. This has happened twice now in the last couple of weeks. (laughs) Who is ever typing those uh, pieces of paper on uh, Microsoft Word? They're they're not messing around no more. (laughs) They are fed up. They're they're like, we've had enough of your poop. All caps. Increase the font, maybe. They didn't go Comic Sans, which I can admire. uh, But there were multiple exclamation points. Uh, Let's go into the timeline. We are in July. It's currently July. Uh, July 19? 15. 16. 16. It's Friday, July 16, <laughs> wow. darling. Uh, okay. We moved in here in May. July 16, 2021 is the current date. We moved in here in May, early May 2020. Yes. That was when in the midst of COVID and whatever nonsense. So the pool and the gym were closed. Uh, we live in a condominium in uh, West Sacramento, Riva. We like to call it R-I-V-A. So since we moved in here in May 2020, gym and pool have been closed due to COVID. Okay. June 15th, 2021, Gavin Newsom said, hey, the COVID ain't so bad, fam. So do whatever you want. Open the pools. So our pools were open. Uh, The gym, our COVID, our river gym was open. Uh, and with reckless abandon, we uh, besieged both. Mm, I'm yeah. in the gym six days a week. Uh, I love our little gym. It, it's more like a fitness museum, but I, <laughs> I dig it. I love it. I love that I, it's 200 steps away. And uh, if I need to toot, I just walk right outside, honey. <laughs> oh uh, and, and then I can walk right home in uh, 200 steps. And the pool we've been using uh, with reckless abandon again since uh, mid June. Yeah, us, us and everybody else. Like, it is, the pool is packed. Yeah. We've seen a ton of our neighbors, some repeat visitors. Like, we've we've seen a lot of the same people over and over. We've mm-hmm. been there many times now. Yeah. So, lots of people here are enjoying it. Yeah. Everyone's excited. We've yeah. all been waiting for this glorious moment. Yeah. And darling son, Lennox Albert is our water baby. He loves the pool. Uh, yeah. Luna Marie, she used to love the pool. She loves it less now. Yeah, we have to because, force her to come. Yeah. I don't know why. She just she she's, just says, I don't want to leave the house. She's literally counting down the minutes <laughs> that we force her to go to the pool. We make her stay for one hour and then we let her go right. home. And the three of you, me, Lennox, the three of us will stay for another hour or two. Yeah. Uh, and so we we go there. We've gone there every weekend. Um, and 
every weekend, and I've taken them. We both have taken them during the week. Also. Weekdays, right? Yep, weekdays. Uh, so the first incident uh, happened June thirtieth, and there were notes, and there was an email. Well, I, re- I remember specifically. I was uh, lying. In, we were lying in bed. You remember where you were the moment this happened? This was three or four a.m. when I was staring at my phone for a couple minutes after my sixth pee of the night, honey. I'm an old man. Uh, and then I see an email saying river pool closed and I kind of nudge you and I'm like, honey, you did wake me up I, at like 4am. I, I said, breaking news from, uh, our HOA or whatever. And I said, the pool's closed, uh, because it's a big deal. Oh yeah. Uh, and okay. So the first one was, it was closed June 30th, which was a Wednesday. a Wednesday, but it was opened july by july 2nd which is a friday so two days two days 48 hours give or take um the second time it happened was uh and that oop july 13th which we was got a the, tuesday a, tuesday tuesday july 13th which we got the notice and it's Again, it's Friday, July 16th. It's still closed. So the 48-hour window is gone. We're at 70... We're at more than 72 hours because it was the morning of Tuesday. Yeah. And now we're in the evening of day three. Yeah. So we're going on like hour 90. This is like a nuclear holocaust <laughs> type uh, <laughs> post-apocalyptic uh, end of war, end of times, honey. All I can think is what is the scale of this poop versus the first poop I, that's causing it to go on for twice as long I of have, a closure? I have three words for you, honey. Book of Revelation. Okay, so let's talk about how it went down. So, what what, what pooped? <laughs> what uh, or uh, who? What or who? What was it? A baby? We've we've uh, again. We're at the pool a lot, so we see little kids, and we see a particular baby who's cute as heck in yeah. a little float, and there's like a cover, a uh, head cover above the float, so that they, they don't get. Sunburned. She's probably about six or seven months old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super and we've cute. See, we've seen her in the pool. Uh, we also see a bunch of kids, six, seven, eight years old in the pool. Um. There, there. We don't bring our cat, Frankie Blue <laughs> Nicholas, to the pool. We want to. We want to. People could maybe bring their cats. We have seen a dog. Dog. Someone has had their dog not in the pool, but like on a leash, walking around the pool. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, so, you have a theory that it's an elderly person. It's either an old person or Gavin Newsom himself. <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's an elderly person who's incontinent. Is that the well, word? Well, uh, um, okay. They just lost their uh, marbles, or <laughs> it's either a, a baby, an old person, or an animal. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I kind of rule out the babies because the babies guaranteed are wearing the water diapers. I do not which, rule uh, <laughs> out the babies, but go ahead. The water diapers aren't great. Mm-hmm. I know from experience having my two babies myself. Yes, the water diapers aren't good, but they're. I, I never had either of my babies ever poop in a pool, and we swam a ton. Okay. So. I, but did, did they have control of their no, bowels no. at that point? Okay. So maybe I just got lucky. Yeah. Okay. Another theory is that there's, because there's a few stray cats, Mr. Kitty. Sure. There's, there's a, t- yeah. <clears throat> we have some neighborhood cats. Yeah, that just roam around like, uh, like some hookers <laughs> on the street, some prostitutes on West Capitol Avenue. And they, they traffic in, in dirt. Actually, uh, Frankie Blue and I, our cat, uh, we were looking at Mr. Kitty earlier today. And he was just traipsing around like some whore, honey. Mr. In, <laughs> in the dirt. And I was like, Frankie, you don't want to be in the dirt like that. You want to be safe and sound in uh, our river condominium. You, you don't want to be out there. No. That's those. why he's an indoor cat with his little fancy bow tie. Right. He's, out there. he's not out there getting dirty. He used to be an outdoor cat. Yeah. But... It was like a neighborhood street, like a house house. He's never been an outdoor cat with us. Yeah. That was his previous owner who had her own backyard. Yeah. Uh, So it could be uh, an animal, dog or cat. It could be a baby. It could be an old person. Another thing, it could be uh, someone who's temporarily experiencing homelessness. Because we've gotten notices. Yes, go ahead, honey. This was funny. Mm Mm-hmm. 
about a year. Ha, ha, ha. There's poo in the pool. <laughs> no. <laughs> so funny. Go ahead. Uh, the pool was closed for a year at least. During that time, yes. it was sometime last year, we got an email from our HOA saying that somebody had broken into the pool. And they sent us video, like the security camera video. Yes. And it showed a guy climbing over the fence and then fully clothed climbing into the spa, mm-hmm. the hot tub. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. It could have been somebody coming in from who doesn't live here, just coming in, climbing the fence. Doing his thing. <laughs> Well, maybe he t- maybe he pooped in the pool, and then there's a one of those like sh- freshwater showers outside the pool that you can rinse off after yeah. you're in the chlorine. Yeah. So that- he pooped. He took a shower. He lifted. Yeah. He's <laughs> already in. Oh no! <laughs> and then he left. Good thing I bring a towel to our river gym, honey. Well, the you know, honey, the thing I always think about when I see a homeless person is where are they pooping. You're very concerned about where they go poop. I, I I can't stop thinking about it. And where they go pee. I mean, I imagine peeing, super easy. That's different, yeah. They, they need uh, 30 to 45 seconds. Although for a woman, it's a little more difficult. Uh, but that's not a big deal. But um, a man or a woman. Well, women poop too, honey. I don't know. If, except all- you. <laughs> right. Not you, honey. Uh, but I, I'm always like, where, where do they do their business? Because uh, well, where what happens? What's going down? Um, so was it a quote unquote homeless person? Another thing, uh, is that not only people bring in their pets, but the gates, the fence around the pool, it's like a cat could get through there super easily. Totally. Uh, A small dog could get through there super easily. And our, our cat, Frankie Blue Nicholas loves to go in our, uh, in our bat, in the kid's bathroom in his litter box. But maybe, uh, uh, a cat likes to go in water or enjoys it have they done dna samples honey have they sent these uh these uh fecal matters off to the lab i personally want more information i want the security camera footage if yeah. it's available send yeah. it my way yeah i want to watch the whole thing go down well that and how does it so a poop emerges from a living entity <laughs> you know what's <laughs> yes you and Lennox and Luna were at the pool yes. on Tuesday. Tuesday. The day that this it allegedly happened. happened. Right. But you saw no poop. There's other people at the pool. Yeah. So- Including a famous former newscaster from a local morning television show, honey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So y'all were at the pool. Yes. No poop in sight. Not that I saw. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if someone, like, can you imagine being there and you see a poop in the pool? Right. Ah! Right. And then what do you do? I, would you call 911? Right. Do you, have, do, do you have HOA on speed dial? So what goes down? Okay. So it appears. And if a baby is nearby, if, well, I guess if an older person is nearby, you see this uh, thing appear. <laughs> and then how, what goes down? Do do you freak out? Do you call HOA immediately? Do you do you try to get it out of the pool <laughs> with your hands? With a leaf, like the other day, there was right. a wasp in the pool, and I yeah. ran. I ran to the gate and I grabbed a leaf, and you yeah. and I together got the wasp onto the leaf. Yeah, and then I threw it aside. But you also have a method, and you did this, honey, and you're very, very <laughs> brave. But you don't. You just you kind of cup your hands together to get. Uh, a semblance of water underneath the wasp yeah. or the yellow jacket, and then you flick them out of yeah. the pool. Yeah. And I did that the other day on Tuesday, and Lennox was astounded, by the way. Uh, but because I was like, you're going to get stung by the yellow jacket. You're going to get stung. You're going to touch the poo, as it were. But uh, yeah, I, I just, how does it go down? No. And then who contacts <laughs> HOA? And how does it become a whole oh. thing? I, I, I need to know. I need the video. I, I need I need to know everything. I we need. deserve to know everything. What are we paying for? Yeah. These are our HOA fees. We exactly. deserve the full truth. 265. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, so, yeah. How, how, how does it get discovered? What happens after it's discovered? Uh, and then I was in the gym uh, Wednesday morning and I walked around and I saw no doo-doo. So someone removed it. <laughs> Somebody removed it. Not with their hands. Not with that method that I, I use for I bugs. Would, I hope not. Maybe they got the, the pool scooper with the screen and the long handle. They, the pool boy. <laughs> so I think the way we found out about this poop 
was you were going to the gym Wednesday morning and you saw the sign up on the gate. A bunch of signs. Yeah. yeah. And they put like bike locks around the gate. <laughs> uh, so you you could not enter via outside, although you could get to the pool through the gym. Makes zero sense. Um, yeah, but I, I looked around and I saw no doo-doo. And so... They couldn't let the doo-doo linger. You got to get it out because the longer it stays, the more it like spreads throughout the water. Okay. Some Somebody got it out of there right away. Where is it now? Are they sending <laughs> it off to a lab? Are they looking at the video? So, okay. So, is a baby... I think it's a baby. You think it's an old person. Uh, honey, why would you do that to our senior citizens? It's, it's their golden years, honey. Uh, they, they've put in a lot of uh, money into the tax system, if you will. Uh, how could you do that to our to our uh, beloved uh, elderly? I'm just simply population? I'm not ruling out anybody right. at this point. Uh, I met uh, the man who saved us, the pool guy. Who uh, again d- does do you does it take immediate action to rid the pool of the pew? Well, there has to be a immediate removal of the majority of the the source. <laughs> well. Uh, Wow. Well, you, if you get into the uh, <laughs> shape or the viscosity or the solidity of it. Oh, wow. This is okay. Okay. But I saw the pool guy on Wednesday morning is what I'm saying. And I wanted to shake his hand. First of all, he wears plaid shorts with cargo pockets, honey. Oh. Really? Really? Okay. Uh, but I wanted to shake his hand and thank you for saving us from the pew. Was, he the, was he the one who did the removal? That's what I wonder. That's, that, that's what I need. He's our know. hero. Okay, so many uh, <laughs> our our pool our pool is closed twice within a month because of doo doo. Uh, many thoughts, many ideas, many uh, notes. Uh, uh, l- let's talk about it. Uh, so uh, now we pee in the pool, honey. Oh gosh, you're embarrassed to announce this. I no longer pee in the pool. Okay, starting now, <laughs> starting right now. Uh, yes. You're currently not peeing in the pool. <laughs> Are you saying that on record? Yes. But uh, as far back as uh, uh, Rosemont, California, where we used to live, it was a family thing. We would hold hands and we would uh, go sing Kumbaya <laughs> and we would urinate together. <laughs> the other day on Tuesday, which is a throwback to Rob, Arnie, and Don. Rest in power, Arnie. He's not dead. Uh, but uh, we, I went to the jacuzzi, the koozie, as uh, David Banner calls it. He's a rapper, honey. Uh, I went to the koozie, and uh, <laughs> Lennox was there with me. And, uh, well, it, it's become a thing that we go to the koozie to uh, urinate, to uh, let ourselves go. And uh, so I go to the koozie, and Lennox follows me for whatever reason. Sick boy, I'm right. Just kidding, Len. We love you. We love you, Lennox Albert. Uh, But uh, so I start peeing in the koozie. And Lennox is kind of staring at the area of uh, my uh, dink. Waiting (laughs) waiting for some yellow cloud. Lennox was in the hot tub with you? Correct. Right? Okay. Yeah. And he's waiting for some yellow cloud to appear. (laughs) He was like, are you peeing yet? I'm like, "Uh, sure. Yeah, I am. Or I just did. I forget exactly. Uh, But... uh, yeah, well, we, we pee in the pool. Well, my point is that we pee in the pool. <laughs> a lot of people pee in the pool. I was helka sunburnt on my chest, honey. And at one point on Tuesday, I just started rubbing on my chest. So there's helka dead skin, live skin coming off my chest. Uh, the other day, Lennox Albert was spitting a lot in the pool for whatever reason. You you boys both spit a lot in the pool. Yeah. I think a, a lot of people do. I constantly spit in the pool. <laughs> what are you going to do with all the saliva, honey? Well, as you know, I don't moisture. get I don't get wet from the neck up, yes. as you know. So yes. this isn't a problem for yeah. me. You wear your plat hat, <laughs> your sunglasses, mm-hmm. and you keep your uh, fair fisher uh, skin <laughs> so, glowing. Basically, there's a ton of DNA from various points of your body. Yes. From the Nicholas. And our children and myself. Lots, and everybody. Lots of DNA from the Nicholas slash Fisher slash Garcia family. And everybody. Everybody. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So uh, a little poo. No, no. Well, okay. Mm-hmm. This is what I was telling you the other day. Pee in the pool is not harmful. 
Yes. You can drink pee if you're desperate. If you're like in the desert. Okay, Bear Grylls. If you're in the desert. You can, yes. And you're dehydrated. Sure. You can drink pee. Right. But poo is like, <laughs> poop is toxic. So like, they got to shut it down for the poop. On what level? I don't know. And well, if it's if it's, <laughs> if it's in the... So again, going back to what happens when the poo is discovered or emanates and you throw it out after 15 seconds, how much... Is tox toxic? It, it, should you close off the pool yeah. from Tuesday and it's Friday? We've lost our weekend, I, honey. I doubt they have like a UC Davis grad student scientist coming out here to test the waters. Yeah, it's. I think it's just the guy from like the pool shop up the road coming yeah. over and throwing some extra chlorine in there for a well, couple days. The first time that this happened, uh, excuse me, <laughs> on. Excuse me again. Uh, Friday, we got an email saying the pool guy shocked the pool. This was the first time around. Yes. When it, the pool was reopening the first Correct. time around. Correct. Yes. The pool was shocked, in which I imagine he dumps a buttload of chlorine and his chemicals in general into the pool for six minutes, six hours. Who knows? But they, hey, it's safe, everyone. It's safe. Is that safer than the poop? Yes. <laughs> Okay. It's 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 disintegrating the poop or the poop entity or remains. Um, so uh, okay, so let's get into theories. Uh, by the way, the first three letters of pool is poo, honey. Oh. I, I spent a long time writing that. Uh, I think it's a ch- a, ch- a kid. You know what? Upon uh, further thought over yes. these last ten minutes, yeah, <laughs> I'm agreeing with you that it's probably also a baby. Yes. The babies wear the diapers. It's not their fault. Those those water diapers are not very... They don't contain things well. Mm. Okay. So, you know what? And and all the older people we've seen there, like, they're not that old. And they don't go in the water. <laughs> they uh, stay, somewhat. They, they stay out they of the do. water. I, but- <laughs> I, I think the old people... They, they, they haven't lost everything, honey. They haven't lost their marbles. Uh, so it's probably a baby. Yes. It might still be an animal. Okay. I think that's still a possibility. But yes. I think a, a baby is a more... I wonder how often an, a wild or a, a domestic cat that just is outdoors, how often are they actually going in the water there? Right. How often do does a resident bring their pet? How often does the pet feel comfortable? Like, Frankie... I, I wouldn't dare think Frankie would have the nerve to poo in a poo, honey! Listen... Franklin yes. Nicholas yes. has never pooped anywhere other than his litter box. That's true. In these seven months we have had him, That's we've true. had him here at our house. Yeah. When we first got him, you thought he pooped on in our master no, bedroom. The children but, did. The children discovered something under our bed. Okay. And they thought it was poop. Turns out, what was it, honey? It was a piece of chocolate from a Quest protein bar that I consume. Because you eat daily. Quest bars in our bed in the middle of the night. I do. I do, honey. And I don't know. You brought that up. Well, I'm a real man, honey. I uh, I lift and I need protein in the middle of the night uh, to keep my muscles building. That's why I'm so strong. Uh, <laughs> but I would like to bring these children and maybe these pets slash animals into a uh, uh, questioning. You want like a police lineup of I, all the children and babies we've seen at the pool in the last I, month? I want, I want the Spanish Inquisition. I want a rendition a la the CIA. You know what? CIA black side. Hmm. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed ever hear him, honey? (laughs) I want to get the little shit that did this, honey. Go ahead. I'm leaning less away from a a baby. Yes. And more towards like a one or two year old. Okay. Like someone who's closer to like potty training age, but they haven't quite mastered the potty training. Yes. Yes. They're like old enough to not wear a water diaper. Yes. But they're young enough that they can't quite control themselves. Well, I I would take it up a notch, honey, and go from one to two year old to a three, four, five, six year old. They're doing this for attention. <gasps> okay. Cause when they know when they poop in the pool, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> that all the adults start going, oh my god, what the heck is 
there's action and uh, manifestation and things are happening and people are running around calling HOA, calling the pool guy. And the, the, the five or six year old or three or four year old is looking around saying, oh, yeah, this is cool. People care about me. I got a reaction. Validation. Mm. It's like getting a lot of likes on TikTok, honey. Mm. It's like, oh, I matter. I'm someone. I'm a person. Is that the the children of our day? Is that what the children of our day are up to? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. What did we just watch? Belle Biv DeVoe Poison that had 642 (laughs) million views. The music video on YouTube. Yes. And I uh, shouted up to our darling daughter, Luna Marie. There's 642 million views, Luna. Does that mean something? Does it matter now? (laughs) Do you care? Maybe this four-year-old in in your mind is also like filming it and streaming it live to TikTok. Yes, yes. It's all yes. for the views. You know what, honey? It's all about content. You know what? Instagram is about capturing the moment. And TikTok is about manufacturing the moment. So this was a whole scheme. Yes. This little child has made simply for the social media views. The clout. Yes. It's all about clout. And can you blame them? And that oop. Okay, so we don't know anything. Uh... Some more uh, just ideas, thoughts, concerns. Uh, the signs. Now, the signs, they, they print them out on Microsoft Word or whatever. And they say, poop and pool! Huh? Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> Do we need to know that, honey? Do they need to say pool? Just pool closed for maintenance reasons. Oh, you know what? Because even after the pool reopened the first time around for the fecal matter, yes. the spa itself remained taped off with yellow tape and it the only yes. signs up for that said maintenance right uh, yeah maybe someone is like i'm so mad and they're just like poop and pool they're like i'm not gonna sugarcoat this <laughs> never send an email in anger honey <laughs> that's what they say um they could they could have gotten away with just simply saying maintenance or right. uh the it needs to be uh repaved right a little more uh diplomatic maybe mm-hmm. they should go to a pr school or marketing and just not be so abrasive so blunt like there's shit in here <laughs> like simmer down we, we don't need to know the dirty the dirty deed honey uh another thought uh we come from we come from the other side of the tracks honey we come from we lived at your place in rosemont california uh and uh there was a pool yeah that it, we enjoyed frequently so to- yeah totally similar situation um yeah Kind of a, a condo neighborhood with a community pool yeah. that everybody had access to who lived there. Yeah. Keyed in. You have to use your little key to get through the gates. Yeah. And I maintain that this pool, pool, was pooped in probably all the time. <laughs> Actually, all public pools are pooped in all the time. And they just don't tell anybody. That's a they, question. They, they don't tell anybody or they say, hey, the pool's down for maintenance. Uh, it's open. It'll be a reopen on August 8th. Uh, what's, 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 do we need to know that duty was in this pool, honey? That's what I was wondering. Like, why has this happened twice at this particular pool? I've never right. heard of any other public pool having poop in it. Right. Especially twice within two weeks. Right. And, and you claim, you, you're just saying that other pools, this happens all the time. They just it handle it differently. It happens, bruh. It, 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 it goes down. <laughs> well, you, my whole life has been a lie. And, and either, either it's not a big deal or they, they just handle it with a subtlety. I don't like knowing this. I don't exactly. like believing this. Exactly. Exactly. Just tell me the pool's closed. Oh, okay. Uh, Say blame Gavin Newsom. <laughs> the COVID, yo, the, it's that Delta variant, fam. Uh, but we, we don't need to know this, and so just being so out there with it and so upfront, it it, it, it just makes it gross. <laughs> I, I I I think either pools close for various uh, impenetrable reasons or. They don't close them and they, they scoop the poop out. They flip it they out. They scoop the poop. Chomp, you throw chomp. like an extra right. chlorine dose, dosage of chlorine right. and you move on. And Nobody you move knows. On and no one knows and no one cares. And we're, we're still alive, are we? This is this four-day closure is excessive. Yeah. Our HOA's got to get it together. Right. For $265 a month. And we... So it, it's not open today. It's Friday. Uh, unless the pool guy shows up and works miracles tomorrow... We lost the weekend. 
Yeah. And it's hecka hot, Sacramento. It's hecka hot. And hello, I've been working on my tan. Yeah. I'm about to lose all my tanning progress. Yeah. And we're going to San Diego in a week. Yeah. And I was hoping to be super tan. My, I, I hope uh, darling Luna, <laughs> darling daughter and darling son are listening right now. Oh, they are. <laughs> well, they don't like or they don't follow. They don't subscribe. So they won't listen to the actual recording. Uh, but uh, my sparkling wifey <laughs> approaches me topless, if you will, <laughs> sans a uh, shirt. And she'll be like, check out my tan line. And I'm like, yeah. Mm. It's, I feel, <laughs> it's very noticeable. You're very proud. You're a white uh, fisher. <laughs> I'm a glowing white, blindingly white woman. Yeah. Okay, and so for the first time, I feel like in my adult life, I have tan lines. You have one, and it's heck yeah. It's very noticeable, and it's across your bosoms. And I like to show you my yeah. husband. And I dig it. It's it's, <laughs> it's something. I am like, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see what you're working with, girl. Okay. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Uh, we need a kiddie pool. Now, we don't have a kiddie pool, but uh, the jacuzzi can be used as a kiddie pool. Ugh, it's so now, hot. It's really hot. But just don't turn on the stupid switch, honey. And and the kids can poop away there. Hey, kids, go wild, go buck wild. <laughs> put some pets in there. Homeless people can go in the koozie. Uh, do your thing in there, but uh, the adults are in the pool. The spa should be the designated urination pooping yes. hole. It, it currently is the urination, <laughs> the currently designated <laughs> urination as Lennox Albert was staring at my uh, <laughs> my crotch, Did hoping you pee for it? some yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, but oh. add pooping and and it's hot there, so hot kills the germs. I'm thinking. Throw a couple uh, chlorine tablets, extra chlorine tablets in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Okay, why don't you email this to HOA hmm. with your plan, your master plan here. What about for a kiddie pool having just one of those plastic above ground <laughs> pools you buy for 30 bucks at Walmart? What if we ourselves brought one? Yeah. Say, what, what would the parents do? Would the parents be like, right. oh, this is great? Hey, two-year-old, knock yourself out. Poop all you want. <laughs> Poop all you want. Go go cra- go crazy, uh, but we need a kiddie pool. We do not have a kiddie pool. Uh, the moral of the story is avoid all kiddie pools. <laughs> and that oop. Okay, so I said we pee. I'm sure everyone pees, honey. You think everyone pees? Yes. I don't think. I think like twenty percent of people pee. I think it's eighty percent. I hope you're right, because I feel horrible. Well, do you? You don't see people going to the bathroom every ten minutes, do you? <laughs> They're just holding they sit it. there, honey. Just wa- watch, uh, watch the residents of Riva in the pool, and once you see a kind of a smile on their face, just <laughs> an acknowledgement, like "Thank you, Lord, for letting me pee in this pool." Uh, it's I, I would say it's closer sixty to eighty percent of the people pee. Uh, including uh, rain from the wake-up call. Just kidding. Uh, but we talked about... So there's pee in there. There's my DNA. There's Lennox's saliva uh, versus a piece of pew. Uh, but you maintain that pew is much more powerful. Well, well it's all disgusting. Yes. Dead skin cells. Absolutely. Saliva, pee. Yes. Disgusting. Poo out of those, all of those elements. Yeah. It's the only thing that is like toxic and like can literally make you sick right but how how long if if, if they sco- if they splash it out after six seconds well again we don't have enough context we don't know the size the dimensions the uh, oh, amount dear. the yes. we don't know how long it was in there just imagine it's the average uh uh duty honey i don't know <laughs> Can we hire a scientist? Who's a famous scientist? I mean, Carl Sagan. Can we hire a Carl He's Sagan? He's dead. Oh, he is? Yeah. Rest in power. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, his He's predecessor. A He's, a, <laughs> He's a scientist, honey. I mean, can we hire him? Can we hire? Can we send it off to a lab? Let's somewhere? send him a DM on Twitter. Yeah. I, 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 I think this is. Ha- I think this happens all the time. And they just don't tell us. They do not tell us. And... <clears throat> Ignorance is bliss. Okay, this this is like uh, when when uh, Trump got into office and they were like, okay, they're aliens, and here are the files. They don't tell. They tell the HOA 
top person, but that information doesn't disseminate to us lowly uh, residents paying two hundred sixty-five dollars a month because it doesn't matter. We're fine. Yeah, you and know? to be honest, like throw some extra chlorine in there for a couple of days. Yeah, and I'm personally willing to hop back in. Right. I trust the chlorine. I trust the chemicals. Yes. Also, it's a salt pool. Yes. Does that matter? Does that help with the germ decimation? Yes. Okay. And you hear about that our toothbrushes have All poo right. in them. You, like everything in your bathroom is covered in poo right. unless you close your toilet lid while right. you flush. Right. Which we don't. <laughs> I don't. Should I be, honey? Are you telling oh, me I should have been well, for the what? past uh, three and a half years? Yes. Our toilet's in like its own separate room. Although yeah. we keep the door open. I keep it open because I want to talk to you. You keep the door open while you poo so we can talk. Well, I miss you. And it's very tight. It's very... Cla- I'm, I don't get claustrophobic, but I'm like, why am I in this tiny little uh, closet of a room when I can be uh, asking you about Frankie? <laughs> And what you're up to, honey. And I know. We, we can, uh, I, I we miss, can chat about any unfinished business. I we, miss you too while you're in there. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but so my current idea is that we just go into the pool. Because we can get in there through the gym. Yes. We don't and, have to go through the padlocked pool entrance itself. Right. I'm down. Let's go. My idea is that we rally the troops. We get all of the river residents who are down, who ain't scared of no doo-doo, and we just jump in the pool. Meet us at, oh, 100 hours. Right. It's going down. Synchronized swatches. <laughs> the, 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 it's like the Area 51 thing, honey. <laughs> they can't stop us all. Storm Area 51. <laughs> Storm the river pool. Let's stop messing around. And let's just get on with our lives. Like, I, I can't believe it's been three days. It's about to be four, probably through the weekend. So till yeah. Monday, almost a week. A piece of duty that may have been <laughs> in there for six seconds or two minutes. The pool is so occupied. It couldn't have been in there for long. Yeah. Like, you guys were there that day before it happened. Yeah. And, and there's plenty of people always there. Every time, any hour of the day, we've gone yeah. There's people sunbathing. There's people swimming. Yeah. So somebody caught it. It didn't. It didn't like uh, ferment. Ferment. <laughs> <laughs> it was out fairly right. quickly. It so didn't, it didn't procreate. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, how about this idea? Is uh, how about we sign a waiver? Like, you expose me to poo. I will okay. swim in poo. Right. I will handle the. I will deal with the consequences. Let me. Uh, let me. Uh, uh, not uh, sit in mid 90 degrees. It's about uh, 93-ish, 94-ish today. Let, let me enjoy the pool. I'll come home and shower. I'll throw my clothes in the washer, as uh, Grandpa Curtis calls it, the washer and dryer. And uh, it's cool. Like, I, I'm not going to sue. I, mm. I, I'll deal with some, uh, some fecal matter. <laughs> you know I've what? dealt with it before. We all here living in this complex yes. live about... A five-minute walk from the Sacramento River. Yes. Ooh. I have taken our children to the Sacramento River, mm-hmm. walked from here. They have swam in that river, and it's disgusting. Both of them? Yeah. Because I remember Lennox Albert. Well, they've gotten, like, up to their waist. <sighs> it's disgusting. I won't go in there. <laughs> I, I I put my toes in. Okay? Yes. It's gross. As yes. soon as we get home, they're yes. both promptly in the shower. Yes. So all our... <laughs> The people here, if we're not in the pool, we're in the disgusting Sacramento River. Oh, dear, honey. So either way, we're getting contaminated. But we come straight home, we shower, we're responsible. Yes. We're handling it. So let us go in the pool. Let us swim in the pool. Yes. That is what I say. I I can't believe you brought that up, but now that you bring it up, darling daughter, excuse me, had four friends, right? Yeah, she had a sleepover. Olivia. Isabel. (laughs) Talks <laughs> that one Eleanor. and I think that was it. Okay, it was it was three it, friends. It, it, yeah, you took them out to the river. I don't. What was yeah. I doing? You stayed here. I stayed here because I'm a clean person. <laughs> but you took them out to the river. They went knee deep almost. I let them go as far as I wanted to go, which is about thigh deep. Okay. They they, had, all, they were all in like shorts, so yeah. like about thigh deep in the river. And they took some beautiful pictures, some yeah. fabulous pictures, like pictures you're gonna think about when you're. 
whatever, 67 years old, be like, oh yeah, I remember when Olivia and Isabel and Eleanor, Eleanor. <laughs> we all went out. And Lennox, Lennox was there too, yeah. Lena, me. We I'm going to remember those pictures, so they were worth it. But you had them march from uh, our, when they came in the front door, you had them march straight to the bathtub. Yeah. And they washed off uh, yeah. knees to feet. Yeah. Yeah. So why can't we do that with the pool? <laughs> <laughs> right. Sign a waiver. Let us live. Let us live. Okay. So that's what's going on. There's no resolution. Uh, it's Friday. We, we. I think we've lost the weekend because do pool guys work on Saturday? I'm not sure. Sunday? I, I imagine they do, but I, who knows? And I've especially lost. here at like a complex yeah. like this type of thing. Yeah. Maybe for like individual residents. But yeah. I don't know about us. I've lost faith because the first time it was 48 hours Wednesday Friday, Wednesday, the doo doo happened. Friday, the pool was open. This time, Tuesday, the doo doo happened. It's Friday. We've gotten zero notice. It's and it's Sacramento. It's going to be mid high nineties this weekend. Ugh, that sounds horrible. Uh, so we hope that the pool opens, and this is our lives, and this is what we're paying two hundred sixty-five dollars a month for. Thank you, HOA. Uh, I wanted to mention two people, two people who live here, honey, who we discovered. Um, one, I won't talk because she's a woman and they're more sensitive and there's more at stake. Okay. But she's a celebrity slash former okay. I know, local. I know who you're talking about. Yes, local television celebrity who yeah. I saw at the pool the other on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, we exchanged a few uh, pleasantries. Um I think that's cool. And then, uh, lo and behold, there's another former local media personality. Do you think he lives here? Or do you think he was here with her? Because we know they're friends. Yeah. I think mm, I think he lives here. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But... Uh, I wasn't... I wish... I, this was like the one day... We know that she... Mm -hmm. Since before we, we moved here, we know she lives here. Right. We've never seen her or like, right. even though you're like an acquaintance with her. Right. We worked together and, for two weeks, honey. <laughs> and we've like, <laughs> both of us have like corresponded with her. And like, yeah. so we're all aware that we all live near each other, but yeah. we've never like gotten it together. Right. And after all these months, you finally saw her and right. I wasn't with you. you Randomly. Took, I and stayed we, home because I was working. I stayed yeah. here at home. You took yeah. the two kids to the pool and yeah. she happened to be there. And I was like, hey. I cannot believe I missed this. Right. I and know. I was like, hey. And she was like, hey. And it was, I mean, it was cool. And then you noticed. Being, being in the midst of a real time celebrity, honey. Sure. It was something. I was like, can I get your autograph? And that, oop. Uh, Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she was there, and uh, and uh, and then another celebrity, former celebrity, uh, emerged into the mist. And I said his name earlier. Rain from the wake up call, who may or may not live here. But uh, you said they left separately, so that's what. Yeah. Although you can you can get out of the pool without having a key fob or key. Right. It's only getting in. Well, I remember him coming in and he was like, hey. And that oop. No, he relied on her to get in. So he oh, might see, not live here. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And then, but you can leave on your own. So maybe yeah. he, like he, she knew he wanted to stay longer. So he kept like doing laps or whatever. Yeah. And, uh. But and, we know she lives here for sure. We've well, talked to her. For, and so I was like, okay, who's this guy? Because he was talking to her. And then just through, and I gave you, I gave you some of their conversation. <laughs> you were eavesdropping. I was eavesdropping, <laughs> and I spilled all the tea when I got home, honey. Yes. Of everything I know, uh, including uh, uh, hot goss about Kevin the intern, if you will. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, she's here. He's here. Maybe he lives here. Mm, no. Maybe uh, he doesn't. Okay. But uh, I just thought, well, this be, and me, I was like, oh, well, this river is the <clears throat> place for a uh, former uh, local media celebrities to come. Yourself it's, included? Yes. It's <laughs> like uh, Branson, Missouri for uh, uh, Sacramento, honey. And that's a reference that a few people will get, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay. So that's what's happening with the poo. 
Uh, let's move on to Black Widow, honey. We watched this. Yes. And that uh, oop. What does it matter? Do you need us? What What do you need? You have the internet, you have your room. Do you have our room? You have the bathroom. We're, we're going to talk about Black Widow now. And then you, have un, you have Uncrustables. Do we have Uncrustables? No. You don't have Uncrustables. You have you have your youth, Flynn, and that's what really matters. Okay. And that oop. Okay, so let's get to our Black Widow review. You can watch this in movie theaters, or you can watch it on Disney Plus. Uh, what 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 did you think? Any initial uh, thoughts, feelings, comments, reflections? I was reluctant to watch this cause, because I'm not a huge MC Stan girl. Fan MCU. Girl. What did I say? MC? <laughs> yeah, MC. Right, Carrie, honey? What does she have to do with uh, Marvel? I'm not a huge MCU person. Yeah. Superhero movie person. Because you're not a loser. Go ahead. Uh, anyway, so I was like, for for a couple months now, you've been like, are we going to watch Black Widow? Are yeah. we going to watch it? Yeah. And I was like, eh, sure. Yeah. So we sat down, we watched it, and yeah. I had so much fun with this. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Much more than I thought I was going to. Absolutely. Um, I, like... M- much more than any other MCU movie I've seen. Really? It was definitely like in my top then four. Then Endgame, Infinity War. My top four MCU movies are okay. End- Endgame, Infinity War, Black Panther, and this. Okay. Black Widow. Those are my top four. Okay. I haven't thought of my top four, but <laughs> Endgame and Infinity War are <laughs> definitely in the top two. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed... Uh, what is this called? Black, Black Widow, Widow with Scarlett Johansson. I enjoyed it. Uh, good movie. Um, cosplay retcon. I, I'm just throwing those words out here, Andy, because that's what a lot of reviewers are talking about endlessly. Um, the timeline is that it's post Civil War. War, which was Captain America three, but it's pre Infinity War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre pre Thanos at his maximum. Sure. I, I don't get into timeline because I don't know. I have a life, honey. <laughs> I, I never saw Civil War. Somebody told us this recently, so right. that's the only reason we knew what timeline this was happening. Right. On. I I I know this based off YouTube <laughs> <laughs> movie reviews, and so I'm uh, regurgitating the nonsense that is uh, these uh, YouTube movie reviews. Um and uh, there are people out there who say uh, Natasha, who is Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, her character didn't get a proper arc, honey. Oh, she yeah. didn't get her due. Yeah. And this movie uh, and uh, Marvel is uh, misogynistic <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and to those people, I say, get a life. Who cares? <laughs> it's a stupid movie. It's all fiction. No one cares. I, I evaluate each movie just based on pure entertainment. I don't care about canon. I don't care about, oh, well, this th- doesn't make sense. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, it- I definitely don't care that deeply about it either. She, right. her and Hulk up to this point never got their own movies. Right. Neither did the Arrow guy, honey. He's not a... Oh. Is he a main guy? I, don't know. I always I hate him. I always forget about him. Because he's ugly? Or what are you saying about Jeremy Renner, honey? <laughs> he's ugly and annoying. He is. Uh, but so Scarlett... <laughs> yes. What's his name? Jeremy Renner. What's his Arrow name? Oh, Ar- I don't know. Arrow guy. Nobody Arrow. cares. Arrow from the CW. <laughs> Lennox, what's uh, the Arrow guy in Marvel? What's his name? Lennox forgets. Okay, oh, no one knows. No one cares. This is just sad. Uh, we we all need so, a family meeting about this. Yes, Scarlett jo- Black Widow, Scarlett mm-hmm. Johansson never got her own movie. Neither sure. did Hulk in this rendition of it. But right. he got it back. But he's gotten two he's gotten from it, one yeah. from Ang Lee and one from Ed Norton. Ed and Norton, yeah, the yep. Australian guy Eric Ban Ban Yeah, yep, yep, Banya. Again, so, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Jeez, does Louise. this matter to you? It does not. Okay. You know what matters? My family. And whether or not this stupid movie was entertaining. Okay. The stupid movie was entertaining. It was. Absolutely. Agree. Uh, okay. Some notes slash thoughts I have. Uh, 
Lots, and you notice this, honey. Lots of gratuitous booty shots. Oh my gosh! Of Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh. So many booty shots of right. Scarlett Johansson. Right. The camera was following her walking yeah. at her butt level. Yeah. Who is she, an Instagram the, uh, model, honey? The male gaze, am I right? Yeah. Okay. It was so, like, obvious in obvious, this film. Obvious, prominent. So over the top. And I get it, ScarJo. You don't skip leg day, okay? You're you're out here doing squats <laughs> every day like uh, Brie like, Larson. Chill. How about chill, not right. have it be so freaking obvious obvious in, in our faces right like uh, okay <laughs> we we got it you worked out the florence pew worked out and we say pew we, we youtube because luna marie darling daughter was in the prunes for she wanted some a prunes. few weeks or a few months <laughs> uh, as with any uh child they <laughs> their tastes change uh dramatically and <laughs> For zero uh, reason <laughs> reasoning, uh, but Luna Marie was in a prunes for a couple weeks, and so we talked about prunes, but she pronounced it prunes, <laughs> and we were just like, "No, it's just prunes, Luna." So now every time there's a, but now anytime there's a you, YouTube, Florence Pew Pew prunes. Yeah, that, uh, that's the canon for our family, honey, <laughs> yeah. and which is that's what our origin story. Matters, yes. Uh, I, I, well, I want to say that it was cool watching chicks fight in a violent manner, uh, a la Kill Bill, uh, Vivica Fox, and uh, Uma Thurman. Um, it's cool because you talk about Marvel movies and just action movies across the board. It's a sausage fest. It's a bunch of dudes smacking other dudes around and it was cool to see uh scar joe and florence pew kind of mixing it up and then near the end there's a scene with scar joe going against like 40 50 chicks uh fighting in in a just violent uh, manner and it was cool to see that it was something different and and i i really i really dug that um uh it's not it's not a sausage fest. Uh but let's get into the real matter at hand, honey. Uh Florence Pugh is twenty five years old and she's dating the forty six year old Zach Braff. Uh wh- why? W- what's going on there? I well on his end, I know what's going on there, uh-huh. honey. If you know what I'm saying. It's kinda what's gonna go on here when uh the children go to Grandma Bev's this weekend. If you know what I'm saying, honey. But uh what what is uh Florence Pew, age twenty five, doing with Zach Braff, uh age forty six, twenty one years she senior. loves the show Scrubs. <laughs> okay. I don't know. He's twenty one years her senior. Yes. He's not good looking. She is so pretty. She's yes. so cute. She's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And Zach Braff is mm. everything but it's not like it's not like uh Thor. Right. He had a couple movies and then he faded off, but he's still handsome. Oh, Zach sure, Braff. Sure. Goofy looking dude, still a goofy looking older dude. But listen, if you try to say that on Instagram, she will come for you. Oh yeah. She is super defensive of their relationship yeah. and of him. Yeah. So this doesn't leave this pod. She fed, everything you're saying here. <laughs> she fed the trolls with the. Does you she know have... him. You knew our friendship, our relationship, and uh, what? I don't know. Zach Braff. He he peaked with a, a sitcom. He did Jersey State. Garden State. Garden State, which was a decent movie, but 15, 20 years uh, old. Uh, is she sleeping her way to the middle, honey? That's the question here. She's so cute. She's adorable. I wonder. I, and it, he's not. I know. <laughs> so what's going on? And I. And she's not <laughs> with him to further herself in movie the movie pantheon because he's nothing now. So her heart is true and pure. That's yes. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Yes. She's with him for his soul. His personality. Sure. I listened to his podcast and it was, well, this was back when the election was going on, but it was nonstop. Trump is terrible and this is Donald Faison and we're still friends, but oh yeah, go register to vote. She's uh, like British, right? To get Trump out of office. She is. Okay. Absolutely. Um, yeah. What's up with that? Uh, Maybe it's a phase. Hopefully. Move on, girl. Move on to uh, Chris Evans. 
Chris Pratt. Oh, wait, he's married. Uh, Florence Pugh. More on Florence Pugh. She starred in the movie Midsummer. Now, we rented this movie via Redbox. <laughs> And we watched it. I forgot about our red box days. Your old condominium uh, in Rosemont, California, uh, midsummer, and this was, might I say, the worst movie of all time. Oh wow! I loved the first half of it. It was. I was digging it. It was engaging. It got you like, what's going on here? There's something mysterious. And you know what? Florence Pugh herself is very uh, just like riveting on screen. She's so cute. She's a very good actress. Who are you, Zach Braff, honey? (laughs) I just really enjoy watching her on screen. Okay. She was also in Little Women. We watched also. That I didn't see, but you watched that with Darling. No, you you were there with us, honey. No, you took Darling Daughter. It was like a birthday party no, for one of I didn't friends. take her. Oh. Olivia, uh, Isabel's mom took them. Okay. But then we rented it via Redbox once again. I watched it? At New Hall, yes. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember anything. And Florence any- Pugh, I just feel like whatever movie she's in, like you're just drawn to her. She's very captivating on screen. Okay. Midsommar was, hor- back, was a horrible movie. It was a horrible honey. movie. It was a horrible movie. It was a terrible movie. The worst movie of all time. And... The like you said, the first half you're kind of like, what's going on here? Okay, I'm into this, and but by when you find out what's going on, and by the end when there's a bunch of fire and tents <laughs> catch on fire, and you're just like, this is a horrible, horrible movie, <laughs> worst movie ever. <laughs> I blame Forrest Pew. Why would Zach Braff even mess with her after that? Uh, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to bash uh, Midsummer. Honey. Okay. Uh, more thoughts about uh, Black Widow. That's what we're talking about. Uh, the sisters were at odds. Uh, Florence and ScarJo, they were uh, bickering and having disagreements, and they kind of fight. They they go at it physically. I thought that was really good. I, I, I really enjoyed their banter. Yeah. Their dynamic. Yeah. I thought it was super entertaining, engaging. Yeah. It was both funny and uh, you felt for them because you understood they were like sisters who had been separated. Yeah. And were kind of at odds with each other. Yeah. And Florence Pew uh, has uh, a few moments where she makes fun of the, the superhero kind of <laughs> stance yeah. that, that you see across all Marvel properties uh, where, where they kind of land with their feet uh, spread and their hands uh, uh, Kimbo <laughs> and it's just you, you, you just realize they're ma- they're poking fun yeah and it, it's cool this movie was kind of more self-aware than yeah. other MCU movies and it kind of poked fun at some of uh, the tropes in superhero right. movies and it was but it was done subtly enough that it didn't like overtake the overall film yeah. or storyline yeah. it was just thrown in here a bit here and there yeah so it was funny I liked it. Yeah. I appreciated it. It was good. Dug it. Uh, Taskmaster, or as uh, the rappers call it, Taxmaster, who comes after you with the IRS after after April 15th. Uh, the Taxmaster, as a quote-unquote uh, villain, who he's sort of a minor villain compared to the old guy, but... I, the, the helmet. Oh, the helmeted guy. Yeah. I was like, who well, are she, you talking she, about? It turns out she's a chick. Spoiler alert. It's a girl. Alert. Yeah. Uh, but I, 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 well, this goes to my whole thing about like a helmet, the Mandalorian. It covers your face and you, you can't get involved into a character who just has a metal screen on their face. Right. I, I did. I did like how it showed us that like. She mimics whoever she is fighting. Yeah. She's able to immediately like mimic their moves. Yeah. So it's almost like you're fighting yourself. So yeah. I thought that was cool. And, and they, that's cool. Like you were able to understand that from yeah. watching it from early on. That was cool. And and when they do take off her shield or face or whatever, you see it's a girl. You see and who, like, who she is in yeah. relation to the film. And she's kind of scarred up. And you're like, okay, she's had a trauma. Who hasn't? Am I right? Uh, but uh, so, I, but I, I don't like just helmets on on uh, characters in general. Because mm-hmm. you can't get into their I know. their eyes, this their, is why, their faces, their talking. This is why talking. we hated Mandalorian. Yes. Mandalorian was like a robot voice with a Absolutely. mask the entire time. So we're like, what? Yeah. A, whatever. Forget this show. Yeah. And V for Vendetta, the Guy Fox mask. Yes. And uh, Spider-Man, Green Goblin, where William... Macy. 
No. no. <laughs> William. I want to say Baldwin. But uh, the Spider-Man uh, villain, uh, Green Goblin, yeah, he yeah, had yeah. a mask too. Right. And and they're saying dialogue, but their face isn't moving. I, I'm not a fan of that. I uh, I can't stand that. It's so same. dumb. Uh, same. Just pull up your mask, bro. William Defoe. <laughs> that was his name. I didn't even have to Google it, honey. Uh, next thought. Uh, the action A plus. Um, like there was one scene uh, in the middle that started at uh, the ScarJo and pew. Uh, kind of duking it out at an apartment and then it went out to the city uh and at, at one point a car and i was for action i was look for stuff i've never seen before i'm yeah. like eh, that's kind of cool that's inventive that's creative that's something different something new uh but a car went from just the city streets and went down like some subway stairs into the subway i was like okay that's cool i haven't seen that before and this action scene went for 20 ish minutes 15 20 ish minutes i was like this is cool like you're getting your money's worth um and it's marvel so it's done well uh a few scenes and they haven't nailed this but where where, where they do the close-up of either pew or scar joe's face and uh they're but and Behind them is is action, but it doesn't. It just doesn't look good. Um, but overall, uh, lots of action, lots of good action. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. Um, the family thing. So uh, ScarJo and Pew and are they sisters? Are they, who, who? I don't want to get it. Who cares? Uh, but they're 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 quote unquote sisters. And David Harbor 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 is their dad. And Rachel Vice Vice. Who is British? She's not German. Vase is their mom. Um, I thought that was that was good. It was something different. Like it, it's yeah. not like Iron Man or Ant Man. This film was a really good mix of action and family drama. Mm-hmm. Even if the family dynamic isn't your stereotypical, they're not a, a biological stereotypical family, right? Um, but you still have that family family dynamic because. Yeah. Uh, at least Florence Pugh herself is like kind of clinging to the idea that this is these were the best years of my life was when the four of us were living together as a family yeah. in America. Yeah. And then they're trying her and ScarJo are kind of trying to reconcile that as adults, yeah. as these trained assassins. Right. And they're now reconnecting with their parents after 20 years. Yeah. So it was a good mix of tons of action, kind of some emotional moments with the the girls and the parents like how how can we relate now how can we work together now mm-hmm. uh, so i thought it was a very good balance of those two things yeah even though like in terms of dna it was quote unquote meaningless or it wasn't technically family or didn't matter technically be- based on chromosomes uh they 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 experienced things together and they they were family quote unquote like like uh grandpa curtis my stepdad (laughs) who isn't my technically dna chromosomes but i love the dude and he's my dad for for uh for all intents and purposes for all intents and purposes he's my father um i thought they're uh The family thing was cool and different in terms of Marvel, but sometimes it was too much. Like it was uh, at one point, Florence Pugh and David Harbour kind of like Florence Pugh is spilling her guts and family, and it was just like okay. You know, yeah, that scene for me almost went on too long, and then they cut it off in a very dramatic fashion, just at the right time, just when it was becoming a bit like okay, this is a bit too much. The movie is two hours fifteen ish minutes, two hours twenty minutes. It it could have been cut. Um, There and there was a lot of exposition narrative story building plot whatever <laughs> just get to the action in that it's marvel so you want some good dialogue you want some inventive dialogue but in the end just blow some things up and uh let's move on with the story um so two points that i want to bring up uh at one point uh the, the ray winstone the older guy the old big bad dude uh, he exerts pheromone control over ScarJo, 
And I was like, what kind of what kind of plot point is that? Who came up with that? Uh, yeah, you can't hurt Ray Winstone because his pheromones are in the air. And I just thought that was so dumb. Like she she literally had a knife to him and then she stopped because she was smelling him. I was just like, don't underestimate the power of pheromones. <laughs> just, okay, honey. This is poor writing. <laughs> um uh, oh, actually, two more points. Uh, the accents. <gasps> oh, we the bo- we accents. are both in agreement on these. Okay. Yeah. David Harbour. Yes. Rachel Weiss. Weiss. And, and she's uh, British, honey. Okay. Yes. Nine. Florence Pugh. Pugh. They all put on these Russian accents. Yeah. For some reason, Scarlett Johansson doesn't have one. Right. Maybe I'm not well versed enough in the MCU canon to know why she doesn't have one but you aren't her sister and her parents both have russian accents because they're russian yeah or they hail from some eastern european countries sure it was their accents i thought were were comical so bad it was, it was distract- i am it was, russian it was almost offensive i felt like if a russian person yeah. were watching this they would be offended i am david just- <laughs> harbour and marvel is worth Disney is worth sixty billion dollars, but they couldn't pay for a Russian accent coach. I wonder. His, his, well, his accent, his Russian accent was terrible, and then Florence Pugh's Russian accent was terrible, but in a different light, in a different manner. They were both just horrible, and I, I just didn't buy it at all. It was just so da. We are Russian, and it was, you know what? It's like Borat became a Marvel superhero, and that's my wife. It was very cringy, and I feel like, okay, these people are Russian. Yes. If would Marvel, would MCU dare attempt any other sort of accent? Ah, Although you know what? Yes. Um, Black Panther, mm-hmm. he had like an African accent, which I right, also. But and he's Wakanda Ameri- is a made up. <laughs> it is, but it's supposed to be like an African country, and he's yeah. an American guy. Yeah. I also, honestly, back then when we watched Black Panther, I felt a little bit like, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Mm. What's going on? I don't on like Amer. I don't like Americans putting on an accent. Yeah, when you can tell it's fake. Yeah, it's very cringy. Yeah, like what is that it accent? Kind of, it because takes me he, out. He's a black superhero. So is he putting on a what is, is it a African accent? I, I what what it but it's, <laughs> yeah. I what wonder what is going on. I wonder if they p- picked a particular country in Africa and were like, okay, listen to this, yeah. study this accent, try to yeah. mimic it. <laughs> Here's some like, tapes. Like regardless of the situation, it's uh, very uncomfortable and cringy yes. to me. Yes. But David Harbour especially took me out. Yes. And uh, Florence Pugh wasn't much better. Yes. She's English trying to do a Russian accent. He's an American, right? Yeah. David Harbour's American. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Vladimir Putin for president. Why can't we president. all just... Why did Scarlett Johansson just have an American accent? Yeah. Why couldn't we all just do that? There was... Uh, a- Incongruity? I don't know. Incongruous? I, I, don't know. I was... I, it, it, it was distracting, though. It was distracting. Me. It was dumb. And get everyone on the same page, yo. <laughs> get David Harbour and Florence Pugh's uh, Russian accent class, and let's let's you know, all get in harmony, Synch- synchronicity. Some MCU canon yes. super fan is gonna be like, "Well, yeah. David Harbour's character was raised in this sect of Russia, yeah. and Florence Pugh was uh, raised here in this yeah. red room, yeah. and Scarlet." Blah yeah. blah blah blah. And, blah. The, was this Prussia or yeah, yeah, Eurasia yeah. or Czechoslovakia or some people on Twitter are outraged? They're lashing out. <laughs> How about everyone just has an American or a British accent? Right. How about that? Make should they make up the British accent? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mix maybe mix the English and the British. Hello, Vladimir Putin. Uh, and my final note is, uh, so near the end, again, spoiler alerts, uh, uh, they, they go to the mask reveal. Now, Scar Joe and Rachel Vase are doing their thing and, and I, I just hate this. 
as a trope. Um, they so there's the movie's going on. And you're like, okay, this is happening, and this is pivotal, and I'm paying attention to this, and oh my goodness, this is happening, and then all of a sudden, Rachel Vice rips off her mask, and it's ScarJo, and ScarJo in a different uh, whatever scene, uh, but still at the same time happening. On the timeline, uh, ScarJo rips off her mask, and it's Rachel Vice. And I just, I, I don't like that. I, I do not like that. Uh, I, I go back to uh, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise's uh, movie from ninety five, ninety three. I don't know. I don't want to Google it. Uh, <laughs> but you, you get into a scene, and you're like, okay, this is happening, and I'm following along. This character does this, and oh my goodness, and then all of a sudden, whoosh. I rip off a mask and oh, the last eight minutes of the movie are dumb and pointless and you wasted your time. I I, I don't dig that. What about you, honey? It, it didn't bother me as much as it did you mm. because... Uh, it's easy. It's an easy <laughs> way to get out of it, it's an easy a way to ha- It's an easy way sequence. to have a shock value for your audience. Yeah. Definitely. But at least it went back and showed us like... Rachel Weiss and Scarlett Johansson like plotting their plan yeah. in the basement of the house. Yeah. So we could see it like yeah, took us step by saw, step to you show saw like, the, what we're doing. The, the, the plotting or, or kind of what what the thought behind it and the, yeah. and, the, and the planning. So I at least appreciated that they went back in time and like showed us, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to trick the old bad guy. We're going to trick him. Yeah. But yeah, I I yeah, I think you're right in the sense that it is it's been done. Yeah. It's an easy way to trick the audience. Yeah. And you feel kind of hoodwinked as an audience member. Um not a fan. Uh oh, and just one more note about the pheromone control which was completely moronic, uh idiotic. Science, honey, science. How she stopped it, she banged her head on the a desk or whatever on oh. something hard she started bleeding and she's like pheromone control ain't a thing no more ray winstone so i'm gonna kick your ass i dug that okay the pheromone control thing it was but stupid then, but how she broke it yes so she banged her head on the her she banged her front forehead on the table her forceps because she had to there was some like vein or whatever yeah. in her forehead she had to yes. burst in order to get the pheromone control not to work. Mm-hmm. For the remainder of the movie, she had zero scar, mm. zero cutting, mm. zero blood on her face. Did you notice that? Now that you mention it, she had yes. nothing on her face. Yes. And she had like burst this vein on her forehead yes. in order to stop that pheromone control. Yes. That bothered me. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? Her booty looked good. Right? Oh, and yeah. You could tell it did. by the. Uh, uh, close-ups, the endless close-ups of her thick bootie. Her booty look good. Her face is beautiful. Right. So no scars or blood on her. Right. Well, that's what matters. In oh, the end, that's what matters, sure. honey. Your bootie and your face. All righty. That's the end of the program. <laughs> it's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate. Or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. Uh, Please be sure to use our promo code for LifeLock. We don't have a promo code for LifeLock. Goodbye. I love you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, I may have peed in the pool a time or two, but I'm still a good person and we're still good people thank you for listening thank you for your time i hope you have a wonderful day slash night a bye